YouTube. Welcome back to another video. I'm Michonne and I'm the owner of Carter and Candlestick, a home-based soy candle company. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to make room sprays. It's really quick, really easy. Okay, now that we have our stuff, let's start making some linen and room sprays. First thing you should do when you get your spray bottles, sanitize them and clean them out. So once you do that and then they dry out and they have nothing in them, we're going to put it on a scale and we're going to tear it. I'm using ounces, but feel free to use grams. The measurement that I'm going to use today is 30% fragrance oil to, um, to base. So we're using 30% fragrance oil and then 70% base to make our room and linen sprays. I use the base from the flaming candle. Feel free to either create your own base or to use the base from another supplier but we're going to zero out our scale. We're going to put 0 0.11 um, ounces of fragrance oil. I am using the French Lilac fragrance. Okay, so we have 0 0.11 fluid, uh, not fluid ounces, I'm sorry, one point, um, 0 0.11 ounces, excuse me. So these also, these little um, funnels also came with the spray bottles and I just usually put the spray bottle on top, I mean the funnel on top of the spray bottle, and then we're going to pour the base in the spray bottle, just like this. And just be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to overfill the spray bottle full of um, the, the base because then it's going to make it hard for you to close the top. Okay. So it's filled. Now you see it's a little cloudy, but we're going to fix that up. So don't be shocked when you first do it and it's going to look a little cloudy. Make sure this is tight. So then we're going to shake it and it's going to um, mix and then the mixing is going to make it clear. So let's shake. And I would shake pretty hard. So this is when you know that your solution is good because it should be clear. If this is cloudy, that means you have too much fragrance oil and not enough base and you would need to readjust your calculation. I have found with most fragrance oils, a um, combination of anywhere from 25 to 30% fragrance oil to 70 to 75 base will result in your fragrance sprays not being cloudy, especially if you're using clear glasses, uh, clear glass spray bottles. So there you have it. When you're done with your spray bottles, you might notice that some sprays have a yellowy tint. That's due to the um, fragrance oil. Some fragrance oil do discolor the um, spray base but it should still not be cloudy it still should be clear um just like this and you can see that this one is kind of more of like a pure white and this one's a little bit more of an off-white it might not read up on camera but they all have different kind of hues to them but you can see that Okay guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and help my channel grow. And if you have any questions about where I get any of the materials in today's video, everything will be linked in the description box below. And if you have any more questions, leave a comment and I will definitely make sure I get back to you um, to help you guys out. And again, thank you for watching. My name is LaShawn and I'm the owner of Carter and Candlestick.